Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Melandrino, global markets reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me is Celine Kunez. She's the CEO of Massive Bio, a platform that connects cancer patients and their treating oncologists to clinical trials. Celine, it's great to have you with us. Welcome to Trade Talks. Thank you very much, Jill, for having me. Tell us uh, more about Massive Bio. Yeah, Massive Bio is on a mission to enable cancer patients the access to cutting edge clinical trials, regardless of their location or financial stability. We are an artificial intelligence based platform that connects the cancer patients and the treating oncologist with biopharmaceutical clinical trials, especially for those patients that are treated at the community practices where they don't have necessarily the access to, uh, I would say, cutting edge uh, clinical research. And we serve to cancer patients, uh, but our customers are uh, pharmaceutical companies and contract research organizations. We have about uh, 15 customers right now. We are a company that has been founded about five years ago based on my uh, family's frustration in cancer care. Uh, and we have launched a clinical research platform in 2018. Uh, and it's, uh, since then, we have been in an ex explosion uh, level of a growth trajectory. What makes Massive Bio special? It sounds like you're in a really unique niche of the health tech space. Right, right. There are at least three areas that I can mention what makes Massive Bio unique. One of them is that we are the only company that is focused on oncology, especially community oncology in the context of patient enrollment. And patient enrollment is something that's extremely sophisticated and you cannot be generalist in that sense. You absolutely have to be a specialist, in fact, a top specialist uh, in that regard. And that's the reason why we uh, have a very a unique differentiation factor for uh, identifying or being that subspecialist. The second one is that that's also a term that we are coining in the market. Uh, we are the company that is controlling the entire patient enrollment value chain. It starts from the patient identification uh, and then it goes into the AI base uh, for screening and then it goes into the just-in-time site activation and resolving any of the last mile issues because there are a significant amount of steps uh, in the journey of patient enrollment and losing those patients in that funnel. It's really, really, uh, I would say, heartbreaking because of that reason. We have to make sure that we have a full control over that process, and that is a significantly important differentiating factor for Massive Bio. And then the last component is that we have developed a fairly unique patient uh, acquisition technique, both from the direct to patient through our patient contact center as well as through enterprises, could be either a provider network, a payer, or next generation sequencing vendor, where we are consolidating all the relevant patients, regardless if we reach out to them directly or indirectly, and then onboarding to our AI-based platform for detailed pre-screening at scale. I want to learn more about the enrollment process. Why are clinical trials important? Does every cancer patient get the opportunity to enroll into clinical trials in the U.S.? Yeah, so let's think about a cancer patient. You know, the cancer patient, one of the most, of course, important thing is the aspect of time. And clinical trials give the opportunity for cancer patients to get access to promising treatments potentially faster uh, than, than they need to go. Uh, because if uh, maybe you know, but uh, in oncology, the amount of the drug development cycle, it can be as long as 15 years. And moreover, when a cancer patient is in a clinical research setting, the amount of monitoring, the amount of, I would say, care that they get in that journey is outrageous. So because of that reason, it's significantly important for a cancer patient to gain time and get the best cutting edge treatment to get them into a clinical trials. However, right now, the average enrollment rate in clinical trials is about 3%. And as uh, if you think about like a biomarker-based clinical trials, it can actually be as low as 0.1%. So there are about three factors that contribute to that. One of them is the logistics. So there is a demand and supply mismatch because 85% of the cancer patients are treated at the community practices. Uh, although the majority of the clinical research has been conducted at NCI designated cancer center. The second reason is the financial consideration. You know, patients are concerned 
that when they go into these kind of, I would say, an, a new uh, way of cancer care, they may, uh, I would say, think they, they're going to have additional costs because they're going to travel and all the other things. And then the last part is the education and the awareness, because if you look at uh, the cancer patients, 50% of those, the physicians are not really uh, talking with their patients. There is a clinical trial that's available that get, they can utilize. Um, and that also, I would say, uh, disadvantaged a significant amount of the patient to uh, participate in clinical trial and include the clinical trial in their journey. Yeah, just to follow up on that, it, it seems there's, that's such a shame, there's a lack of communication from what you're explaining to us. The best care you can get is by going through clinical trials. It doesn't sound like there's a downside to, um, you know, relatively speaking, to participate in one of those. It, it's a shame that there's such a big communication gap there. Um, what are What is on the horizon for Massive Bio in 2021? Yeah, 2021 is definitely going to be expected a significant year for Massive Bio. We are almost developing the version 2.0 of Massive Bio in terms of scale and growth. And I have to admit that COVID actually helped us because prior to COVID, uh, the uh, I would say the digital health technologies were almost like nice to have. And what we understand right now is the complete must have. Uh, and um, historically, you know, 65% of the clinical trials are late. And I can very safely say that 100% of the clinical trials are late right now. So we are in a significant amount of demand uh, that we are receiving from every size of almost pharmaceutical companies. And that is a, a very, very important for us. The second thing is that, of course, in order to be able to uh, I would say lend and expand to major clients, you need to have spectacular customer delivery capabilities where clinical research industry is significantly missing. So we're bringing actually a professional services level delivery capabilities on the customer delivery side. And then the other area is that we have a new platform on the real world data and analytics side that we are using to be able to serve to pharmaceutical companies in order for them to be able to further understand what's happening in the clinical trial enrollment process and how they can utilize that data for further drug discovery. And of course, in order to be able to accelerate and scale that growth, we are right now in process of finalizing our latest round of financing. All right, and Selene, to wrap up here, where do you see clinical research and oncology going in the next five to 10 years? And of course, what's Massive Bio's role gonna, role gonna be in that? Sure, sure. So uh, in the context of clinical research, right now it became clear that the digitization uh, of clinical research uh, is not a nice to have anymore. It's a definitely a must have. And in the last decade, there has been a significant amount of innovation, but there was not a lot of adaptation. So right now uh, in the clinical research, we see that the digital health technologies are embedded, adapted, and rapidly scaled. So that's a significant thing that I think this trend is going to continue, um, although the acceleration may decelerate a little bit after uh, some time uh, in 18 to 24 months. In the context of Massive Bio, I want to give you a specific example. You know, prior to Massive Bio, cancer patients are going to their physicians and then they are maybe or maybe not prescreened for a clinical trial, maybe about a dozen clinical trials at the setting of their provider. Right now, when uh, they work with Massive Eye, they sit at their home and then about 5,000 clinical trials have been prescreened for them. And that's only even uh, recruiting in, in the United States with the push of a button. And then they also don't have to recognize that when they go to a site that they are even not even eligible for that trial. So basically identification of those trial, uh, cutting all the logistics and the operational issues are right now at the push of a button and Massive Bio is actually at the front and center of this. We are of course taking a huge portion of the market, but more importantly, we are actually creating that market in terms of how the things has to change in the context of clinical trial participation in oncology for the patients that are served in the community setting. So uh, we uh, see an important trajectory, an important role for us, and we I really appreciate the opportunity to carry the flag and move forward. Yeah, fantastic work you're doing. Thanks so much for joining us on Trade Talks. Thank you very much for having me, and we really uh, enjoy uh, being a part of this uh, initiative. Great, and thank you so much for joining me. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Thank you very much, Jill.